Hello viewers, this is Anur Singh. In this video, I will discuss short run coast curve. So, let's begin. A short run coast curve is a graphical representation of how a company's total cost change as the level of output increases within a short time frame, and at least one factor of production is fixed. Here is the classification of short run coast curve. There are three main short run coast curve. They are total coast curve, average coast curve, and marginal coast curve. Here, total coast curve is divided into total cost, total fixed cost, and total variable cost. Average cost curve also divided into three curves. They are average total cost, average fixed cost, and average variable cost. Each of these curves represent different aspects of firm's cost structure and production decision in the short run. Let's discuss this cost curve step by step. Total cost curve comes first on short run cost curve. The total cost curve is a fundamental concept in economics that representing the total expenditure a company incurs at different production level. In total cost curve, total cost comes first. Total cost is the sum of total fixed cost and total variable cost for each level of output. In simple word, we can say that the total cost includes the cost of all inputs, fixed factors and variable factors used to produce a certain output. So, we can say that total cost is equal to total fixed cost plus total variable cost. Here is a table given for the total cost. To draw a graph, we can take quantity on x-axis and cost on y-axis. The fixed cost is parallel to x-axis and variable cost will derive from the origin. The total cost curve will derive from the point of the total fixed cost on y-axis. The second curve of total cost curve is total fixed cost. Total fixed cost is that cost which do not change with the change in quantity of output, such as rent, salary of permanent staff, license fee each. In the table, we can see that the output is increasing but fixed cost is not changing. We can represent this data on the graph. To draw a graph, we can take quantity on x-axis and cost on y-axis. The total fixed cost is parallel to y-axis. When the production is zero, there exists a fixed cost. When we produce Q1 unit and Q2 unit, the fixed cost remains the same. No matter how much units we produce, the total fixed cost remains the same. The third cost of total cost curve is total variable cost. Total variable cost is that cost which change with the change in quantity of output, such as raw materials, wage of casual labor, each. In the table, we can see that as the output is increasing, the cost is increasing as well. From quantity 1 to quantity 4, it increasing in diminishing rate, then increasing in an increasing rate. To draw a graph, we can take quantity on x-axis and cost on y-axis. The total variable cost is derived from the origin. When the production is zero, cost is also zero. As the production is increasing, cost is also increasing. Average and Marginal Cost Curves The average cost curve is the average cost per unit of output change as the production level increases. The first cost of average cost curve is average total cost. Average total cost represents the average cost per unit of output produced. The formula for determining average total cost is average total cost is equal to total cost by quantity. Here is a table of average total cost. In the first row, we divide total cost 12 by quantity 1 and the average total cost is 12. Then when our quantity is 2, we divide total cost 24 by quantity 2 and the average total cost is 12. And 
in the same process, when our quantity is 3 and total cost is 42, we divide 42 by 3 and our average total cost is 14. To draw average total cost curve, we take quantity on x-axis and cost on y-axis. The shape of average total cost curve is U-shape. Now, average fixed cost. Average fixed cost represents the average fixed cost per unit of output. We can say average fixed cost is equal to total fixed cost by quantity or output. On the table, we can see that to determine average fixed cost, we divided total fixed cost by quantity or output. To draw a graph of average fixed cost, we take quantity on x-axis and cost on y-axis. Since fixed cost remain constant regardless of output, AFC decreases as output increases, resulting in a continuous decline curve. The shape of AFC curve is hyperbola. The second one is average variable cost, which represents the average variable cost per unit of output. The formula for average variable cost is total variable cost divided by the quantity. In the table, we can see that to determine average variable cost, we divide the total variable cost by quantity. And average variable cost is declining, then it is increasing. In the graph, we can see that average variable cost is declining, then it is increasing. So, we can say that average variable cost decreases as output increases. Due to increasing returns to scale, then eventually increases as diminishing returns set in. Now, let's talk about marginal cost curve. Marginal cost represents the additional cost incurred by producing one more unit of output. This means if we produce an extra unit of output, then what will be the cost of the extra unit? So the formula of marginal cost is change in total cost divided by change in quantity. There is a table of marginal cost. We can see that the marginal cost of first unit is null. We can calculate the marginal cost of first unit because we know that marginal cost is equal to change in total cost divided by change in quantity. And here, total cost and quantity is not changing. On the graph, the marginal cost is typically u shape. Now, we will see the relationship between total cost, average cost, and marginal cost. First, draw the total cost curve. The total cost curve is in the above and the average and marginal cost curve is in the below. This is the total fixed cost. On the total cost curve, we draw two lines from the origin which will be tangential to total variable cost and total cost curve. From the tangential point of total cost curve, we draw a line the marginal average cost curve which intersect the average cost curve in its minimum point and then we'll draw another line from the total variable cost which will intersect the average variable cost at its minimum point at the point of inflection of total cost we'll draw another line which will intersect the marginal cost at its minimum point and the marginal cost curve intersect both average variable cost and average total cost curve at their minimum points from below. That's all for today. Thank you everyone for staying with me. Oh.